This is Prophet Ayel Kamata, day 23rd day in the month of September 2023. Now this message is going straight to the nation of Zambia. Immediately after the last election of 2021, I gave a word to the current president of the nation of Zambia, the president, Akainde Ishilema. This was the message I gave. Whatever may have happened in the past, whatever may be the challenges, whatever may be the persecution that may have gone through before you sit on the seat, the Lord said that time, go the way of former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela. Reconcile the nation under the umbrella of a state fatherly rule. Focus on the economy. Focus on these people of Zambia for there is a lot of challenges on ground. But then, don't go after. Don't move on the platform of vendetta, personal agenda, personal this, personal that. You may have been wrong in the past. You may have been whatever in the past. You may have reason, but the Lord say, do not follow that path. Now, this is the message the Lord is speaking for Zambia this day. I spoke to the, about the former president, Edgar Chagwalungu, that a time is coming because of what, 2026, there is going to be persecution. There's going to be what? Persecution. Even I told you, it's going to touch even your family. You see what is going on now? So, the Lord said I should speak. The persecution the whatever that is ongoing may seem just like it happened in America to try to suppress you but instead is going to make you more popular. If they have left the former president of Zambia, Edgar Chagwalungu, alone and then the focus, there's a focus on the meeting the demand of the people that would have closed that issue. Yeah, it would have worked close. So this is the message. The current leader could have gone the way of Mandela because the Lord gave that. I spoke about it. But for one reason or the other, pressure, pressure, whatever, he is going the other way. The Lord said the, former, the current leader and whatever is going to make the former president of Zambia popular. You know what happened to David? When the Lord says, Samuel, go and anoint a David I've chosen. After David was anointed, and I've told you, the David of Zambia is Edgar Chagwalungu. The God have not finished with him. You know me, I talk what I say, what God tell me. With a fear of favor, I'm a prophet that speak. No matter the tension, no matter the pressure. I don't speak for money. I never speak in any money from Zambia, and I don't need any money from Zambia. I speak as God speak. I speak. I am a consistent standard. Some people will say, why not speak about your nation, Nigeria? They forget that the spirit of prophecy does, they, is still remaining. Daniel may go, Jeremiah may go, but the spirit of prophecy is still the same as the to, to forever. So what are we talking about? What we are saying is this. The current leader is making the former president popular. He's going to make him popular. He's making him popular. He's gaining, giving him more attention, more grace, more attention. The stopping of a former president from boarding flight, going for a whatever conference, the agenda, the, the whatever situation concerning the the former president wife. These are just like what Joseph uh, uh, Saul did to David. They begin to pursue. The moment David was anointed. Uh, the soul begin to pursue, 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 making David to be popular. The Lord had given a message, go the way of Mandela. But instead of going the way of Mandela, what do you see is what? Arrest, arrest, arrest. Now, the Lord said there's a time coming when this arrest of former political, of, of, of former leaders, former politicians, former whatever, for one reason or the other, is going to go to a stage when the people 
that are involved in this arrest arrest will say no i saw people they go for protests it's coming so this is the word of the lord going to the court from former present i have spoken the lord has spoken god speaks ahead you are going to be persecuted but you see just like it happened in america Donald Trump, I spoke about it. Some people say, you don't speak about your nation, Nigeria. Yo, we spoke about it. God have chosen Obi, but Tunubu will be, we get it because of love of money. It is happening. It's happening in America. It's happening in Zambia. The route to your 2026, and this is the reason why there's a persecution. It is because of 2026. If the former president of, of, of United States of America, Donald Trump, did not say, I am coming for 2024, there will not be any persecution. If the former president, which he have not yet declared, but the people are going to say, we want you back, and they are crying, when the time comes, he is going to declare, this is the perception for the persecution. But uh, the message that the Lord says, I should speak to Zambia, the current leader of Zambia is making the former president of Zambia popular, and is pushing him quicker, like it's happening in America, is pushing the current president of, uh, former president of Zambia quicker, faster to the seats. Just like David, Saul, he pushed David quicker to the seats. He would have left the man alone. He would have focused on the economy. He would have focused on the people of Zambia. You don't begin to start stopping. They don't, you don't, these things are not what God said. They may have whatever, they, whatever may have happened, whatever may have happened in the past. It happened to Mandela. Go the way of the former president of South Africa. But the voice was not heeded for one reason or the other. The Lord says, the foundation of a persecution is because of 2026. The battle, the attacks, can slow a man but cannot stop a man. The prophet has spoken before and they have spoken again. The current president of Zambia is going to make the former president popular. He's going to usher in quicker. When the, 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 the true prophet speak, go the way of Mandela, but you don't want to go the way of Mandela. You want to go the way of arrest, arrest, and arrest. It may not be directly you. It may be whatever may be, it may be, whatever. It does not matter. But the law says, this is other way is where you should go. The former president take his strength like a David. You know what a David is? A David was running for his life. God has a plan for Zambia. And he said, the former is still coming out. The people are still going to cry. You want this man back. Share this video, pray. Pray for Zambia. Let he not have here, hear what the Spirit of God is saying, and let the former president of Zambia, who is the chosen David of Zambia, which I say day and night, without fear of evil, take courage. Take courage of what is going on with the former president of of America. Take courage. You are not alone. The Lord is with you. Just like it happened in America, it's going to happen in Zambia. More persecution is coming, more bigger, more fiercer, and because it is going to go to a level, these people are going to say, enough. I saw these people rising up and they go for a protest. We pray for peace in Zambia. We pray for what? The hand of God. Whatever God has started is going to be completed. When God has not finished with a man, when God has not completed what he has said, he has started, no force, no persecution, no intimidation, no challenges can stop that personality. Share in Zambia, pray for Zambia.